All right, guys, so in terms of Fruit VPN's pricing, it's actually very affordable. $5 a month is about as cheap as you're gonna get. Um, the, pretty much the only VPNs that can compete with this price are Cactus VPN, which is also $5 a month, a little bit more expensive for some of the other like kind of models or additions. However, TorGuard VPN with discount code Thomas Spark is also only $5, $30 a year, which is cheaper than um, the 12 month plan here. Um, but this is among the cheapest I've seen, again, in terms of VPN pricing. You get five simultaneous connections, all the pretty much standard stuff. Now, with Fruit VPN, you're not going to be getting some compatibility with streaming services, and I'll discuss that later, as well as um, some limited servers, not as big of a VPN as some other providers out there. One funny thing is to mention is that they do say a seven-day money-back guarantee, but if you do go to the main kind of Fruit VPN page, you will find like a little bit of a table here. That actually says 30 day money back guarantee. So what is it, Fruit VPN? Seven days or 30 days? Make up your mind already. Anyways, guys, they do have support for cryptocurrency, PayPal, and all these things, which is pretty common, but not accepted with every VPN, nor VPN no longer accepts PayPal. And some other VPNs out there don't accept cryptocurrency. So it's good to see these support options here. Overall, no major complaints with Fruit VPN, and it's quite an affordable VPN provider. All right, guys, so this is what Fruit VPN's application looks like. It's got a nice design, a little bit different looking than some other VPNs out there that I've seen for sure. Feels a little bit uh, more, it's more, you know, on the screen at once, and it's kind of got an interesting color scheme. But besides that, the application is a bit basic. You have a kill switch and as well as some small general settings to configure some ports. Uh, but besides that, you're not going to have any additional protocol options. You're not going to have network options or anything like that. Ultimately, the application is just a bit basic and missing some extra customization and security features that we can expect for some upper tier VPN providers. So the cool thing is though that Fruit VPN does support both network and application kill switch, which not every VPN does. Uh, but some VPNs out there have more settings and more things to block. Some VPNs have more DNS settings to configure, some more proxy settings, and some more, you know, custom servers like dedicated or streaming IPs and stuff like that, that, you know, Fruit isn't going to have. You know, they do have these streaming services uh, available, but unfortunately, as I'll discuss later, it didn't really seem to work in my tests. Now, speed test can be a little bit tricky for VPN providers, mainly because just because you always get a good speed test, it doesn't mean you're actually going to get real world kind of examples of that speed. Take, for example, torrenting. So that's one of the reasons why I do torrent and speed tests. So in terms of speed tests, Fruit VPN had OK ping, pretty standard, nothing too slow, nothing too fast. Our download rates seem to be a little bit slow. But we have some other VPN providers where um, they might be using some kind of compression or something for speed test to kind of trick the speed test. You have really low ping, which is good, but then like an obscenely high download rate. And then when you take it to torrenting, it's actually not too fast. Fruit VPN seems to kind of be like the opposite in that the speed test wasn't that impressive. But if you look at some of these torrent speeds you're going to be getting here, they're actually quite good, which is actually very surprising to me. So as you can see down here, this is going to be the total speed. And I was testing it earlier, getting between 9 to 10 megabits a second, which is very good for me. Um, the Pretty much the highest I've ever gotten, I think, is around 12 megabytes a second. And that's with something like Torgor VPN. So to see, you know, 7 to 10 region with Fruit VPN for the low price is very impressive. Uh, great job here for downloading uh, torrents and stuff like that. Good job, Fruit VPN, making these speeds very fast. Now, again, in terms of speed tests, not as good. Uh, but these torrent speeds are very impressive. So Fruit VPN has a pretty good privacy policy. Couldn't really find too many complaints here. It's pretty small, um, but they do specify that they do not store any logs or any information about when you use their VPN. So overall, it's a pretty trustworthy VPN provider. It's been around for a while, and I even did some research in Idolo Commerce Inc. It's their kind of overall company based in the Sicilies, uh, if I'm, I'm probably butchering that, Sicilies, Sachalas, Sicilies. The Seychelles. Sicilies. Anyways, they're a pretty trustworthy company. Couldn't really find too much, you know, negative say about them or any negative press about them. So overall, just quite good. So Fruit VPN does have live chat, but when I was testing it out, no one seemed to be there. So since it is it's probably a smaller VPN provider, they probably don't have as many people talking to people as main representatives. Maybe it's just like one, he's on a break, or maybe during the time zone, they're just not there. So overall, I'll give them a little bit extra for having that live chat. But again, it can't give them full points for support since they don't really have, you know, active kind of live chat all the time. 
Also, I've seen a couple complaints about Fruit VPN support not being very responsive, and since they are a smaller VPN provider and they're not, and their live chat doesn't seem to be working, it could be a problem. So Fruit VPN's weakest part is probably its streaming compatibility. Uh, it doesn't work with any of the services. I, I tried out various servers, the Netflix kind of enabled servers didn't work with Netflix, Hulu Prime Video, or BBC iPlayer. So it's not going to be a good choice to pick if you are looking to stream Netflix. There are a lot of other options out there and you'll find those on the compatibility section for streaming on the VPN tier list com um, comparison table. Alright guys, so now let's wrap up this Fruit VPN review. So there are a couple of things I do want to mention really quickly that I forgot to mention in the main kind of part of the review. I do like the sign up process here with Fruit VPN. I like how it's very consumer friendly. You could automatically check that you don't want to continue your subscription after the first month or something like that. I think most VPNs should do this and it's actually very cool. Not only that, I like the account creation here and how you could kind of make your account and pick an email and everything like that. It seemed to work pretty good and I kind of like that extra, extra transparency when you're creating it. You know, send the pass, you could send an email if you want to with your password and everything like that. Just makes it very easy in terms of account creation. I think some other VPNs could learn from the way Fruit VPN does it. One other thing to be is that I couldn't really find any other links for like a Mac client. So if you're using a Mac, you might be out of luck here in terms of a dedicated client. You could always use open VPN client or something like that. Overall though, guys, Fruit VPN, it does very well in pricing. It's very affordable. Application gets the job done, but it's pretty basic. Speeds actually can be quite good with torrenting. Speed tests were a little lackluster, but I believe the speeds here with Fruit VPN are actually quite good. Perhaps because less people are using it, which is often the case with smaller VPN providers, you can actually get better speeds and stuff like that since they're not overloaded with the servers. Customer support is a bit of a hit or miss because they do have live chat, but it doesn't seem to be staffed very regularly. Streaming compatibility was ultimately a very big letdown because I couldn't get Fruit VPN to work with any of them. Overall, Fruit VPN gets a very respectable 3.5 out of 5, making it a tier 2 VPN provider at vpntierless.com. Now, if Fruit VPN got a hold of its streaming and made it super compatible with all the streaming options out there, it could be a very strong VPN, especially in terms of adding more customization features to their application, as well as rounding out a more four-fledged support team. If they were able to do this, their high speeds and affordable pricing would make them a very attractive VPN to use. Anyways guys, stick around on the channel for more VPN reviews or reviews of encrypted email or just discussion about VPN in general. Thanks for checking out this video. My name is Thomas Park and see you next time.